Let's solve this inequality for x. There's no fractions here, no parentheses. I'll just move variable terms on one side, numbers to the other. I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. So here's my left side, subtract 4x. And here's my right side, subtract 4x. The left side, I have 1x minus 4x. That's negative 3x plus 6 greater than here the 4x is subtract out, and I have negative 6. Now let's subtract 6 from both sides. So here's my left side, and I'll subtract 6. And here's my right side, and I'll subtract 6. So the left side I have negative 3x is greater than negative 12. And how do I finish solving? Let me write this down again and be very, very careful because I'm going to divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is negative 3. Now when you divide by a negative number, don't forget the direction of your arrow, or I should say the direction of your inequality changes. So notice I have made that change in the direction, and I have simply x is less than 4. And there is my inequality simplified. Now let's go ahead and I'll rewrite that. I'll draw a number line and we'll graph it and write it in interval notation. So once again, don't forget I have x is less than 4. Let me graph that on a number line. So here I'm just drawing a, a short segment and I'll put arrowheads on it and I'll use that as my number line. Here's 4. Because of the less than, I'll place a parenthesis and I'll shade less than 4. How do you write it in interval notation then? Follow your shading from left to right, and that would be from negative infinity to 4 parenthesis. So here it is in interval notation.